doing welcome back to the channel i am at the airport it is nice and early and i'm off for another episode i'm doing something different today i've never been to one of these before so i'm quite excited to see what it's all about i'm off to a burnout competition so sydney apparently i think it's 64 of the toughest cars going to battle so you're gonna go watch some cars hopefully win some money and not break shit but as you know in motorsport things often break so let's see what happens but i'm gonna go get a coffee get some breakfast and then uh, go check it out and see what it's all about let's go all right, I'm in. All the airports all change. It's been a while since I've been here, but it's time to go get myself a coffee. Let's go. All right, so I'm here. I've got my little coffee. I'm ready to rock and roll. A breakfast. I'm going down. It can't always be big burgers and treats. We've got to sometimes eat healthy at the same time, but we're going to fuel up. We're going to get on this plane, get down to Sydney, and then watch these boys go full send. And hopefully we can capture a few people with the old limmy finger going ding, 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 and uh, no rods out, but anything could happen. Excited to see some of the people that are down there. The burnout community apparently is quite huge, so it'd be uh, interesting to see what happens, and I'm excited. So let's go, get this plane ready. All right, we've got the car. We're on our way out to the racetrack. Let's go, burnout time. So I left Queensland this morning, sunny Brisbane, absolute beautiful day. And we get down here and we got this rubbish going on. What is doing with the weather? I mean, it's probably good as sunny up there, but not down here, but hopefully it's not wet because uh, that's all we need is a little bit more liquid horsepower with our shoe, which is gonna be a lot of the big lower cars. Probably don't need any liquid horsepower on the road. So anyway, I'm gonna put my foot to the pedal in this car. Uh, it's not very fast. It can confirm, doesn't do a burnout, but has GPS. So they're probably seeing that going, what is this do dude doing? Clearly not driving properly, but anyway, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna get there, two hands on the wheel. Let's send this bad boy and go watch some people go woo woo. All right, I'm here. <laughs> Holy. I've literally been here, jumped out of the car all of about two minutes. That whole entire time, <laughs> I jumped out of the car, I heard something get up on the limmy, and the thing hasn't stopped until I just heard a bang. That didn't sound like a tire bang either. <laughs> I think we're in for it here, let's go. I'm cruising through the pits. Let's go check out some of these cars. Well, I'm proper G'd up. The smell of methanol and some rubber. <laughs> I think I'm in heaven. Just chuck a radial tire on it, let's go, let's go. All right, where are we going? Show and shine or VIP? What are we doing? Let's have a look. This is uh, madness, proper madness. We've got a lot of tough cars here. Have a look at this thing, just chilling bar off it, tyres absolutely hammered, <laughs> Yo. this is sick, got some uh, really really nice cars going on here, and we got, we got royalty over here, look who we've just found, let's see if we can creep up on him, look at that, he's signing autographs, <laughs> Hey mate, could you sign my shirt? No, <laughs> Here's another proper little toughie. Have a look at this thing. Little Jemmy. This place is absolute carnage. There's cars going past, fucking radiators popped, blown tires hanging off her, they're skidding it down the street here. Well, I've never seen anything fucking like it. If this is what Summonut is gonna be like, it's like, she's red hot, red hot. So these boys are getting ready to go out. I just found out their handful, so Big Mark, he's HQ. He's skidding right now as we speak. We've got Big Tommy here in the Dado King getting ready to go out. How cool is this thing? What proper froth it, eh? In handful as we were speaking, here he comes off the pad. Yes, sir. So many 
many tough looking cars. So just a quick quote for the spot today. We've got plenty cleaning up at the top of the grandstand there. Tyres belted off it again. Another tough. Oof, that's a bit, that's a little bit different. I'm not even sure if I'm meant to be down here, but let's just go for a bit of a cruise and see where it takes us. Here we go. There's a lot of carnage going on here. There's a lot of cool people. I'm just walking, pretending like I'm meant to be here. Have a look at them all. Look what we've got going on here. There's people everywhere here. Rubber everywhere. Pies everywhere, oil everywhere. Jimmy, hello mate. We got oil. What are you doing? Good. All right, so it's official. I work here. Let's go. Woo. There is carnage here. I've never seen anything like this. Rasha is putting on a show. There is just carnage everywhere. extravagant I can understand why now that people go to the levels that they do to build these cars wow absolutely nuts and the people here just loving it look at it mind you it is absolutely freezing here too that yellow thing just uh, tires hanging off it I'm pretty sure he's just throwing something out of bed but absolutely sick
through the camera but wow it's like a symphony in my eardrums you can quote that one too that's that's Beethoven that's his new song his new album's about to drop
Tommy, holy hell, Jesus. And that was just straight to level 10, and then just held it there the whole time. I think he's just tore up a belt or something, but just mechanical sympathy goes out the window with these things. I fucking love it. come away to get myself a bit of fresh air. Well, I feel like I've done a workout. I've been ducking and weaving tyres that are getting thrown at us. <laughs> oh, this sport is fucking loose. I guess as a motorsport enthusiast, it doesn't matter what it is, it's just sick. And these guys have absolutely zero mechanical sympathy for their cars. I'm walking down to have a look at Dado King, Big Tom's deal after that burnout. Holy hell, that thing was absolutely crazy. Excuse me, mate, can you sign my shirt as well, but please? I sign your tummy. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. serious, sign, 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 sign my shirt, mate. Oh. <laughs> it won't come from the uh, So the big fella's gone out, absolutely smashed the tyres off this thing. Um, but they've had a little bit of a boo boo. The lower belt just had a bit of a moment. So the guys are thrashing around. I'll get it all done and change it and go back out there, I dare say. But I don't know if the noise will contribute to the to the video when you watch this back but fuck the sound of this thing man holy hell yeah thing is off its head and the paint job it's just immaculate the whole car here it is the car that was also on the channel got to go for a drive in this thing at my track day and big marky holy hell can drive the car is a show car and then they've gone and put they've gone and put these things on there and i can understand why with the amount of tire slap and debris flying off these things where i was standing before i don't know if you could see it but there was so much carnage with tires just getting chucked at you and all sorts of other stuff but yeah this sport's something different everyone's here just to go full send and uh it's sick. Oh, I've just found Nelson's Tunner. Let's go have a look. McFry Motorsports. So, let's we'll see if we can find them. This is one cool car. Got the man down there getting out some autographs. Always time. How good is that? This thing, if you had, haven't seen the car out before, you've been living under a rock, and uh, this thing is absolutely killer. Hopefully, get to go watch it go out soon and um, belt some tires off it. He's also got the. He's also got a Ute version of this thing. It is an absolute monster. So. It looks big block. I'm assuming it's big block. Hey mate, Hello. how are you, brother? You good? good. Yeah, what, good. What's happening, dude? Oh, mate. Went good, burnout. What are you, what's in it? So it's 598 big block shirt. Yeah, copy. Yeah, I was just having a look at that then. And you've already gone out for a skip? Yeah. Yeah, sick. How'd you go? Really good. I just fitted um, a five stage pump. So I had a four stage oil pump. Just fitted a five stage one. Yeah. Because I had issues where it kept filling up a cash can. Cool. But it didn't spit out any oil this time, which is good. So. Happy days. And you get to go out again? Yeah. Work. How does it work? No, no, there's another burnout um, in about 40 minutes or so. Yeah. And then they judge the two, and then Final. there's a the top 10, I think, at the end of the night. And is it prize money for this stuff? There would be, but I haven't asked. I don't know what it is. Sure. It's usually like a couple thousand. I mean, this is my first time at a virtual event, and this thing is lit. Yeah. crazy. I had no idea people go full set all the time. Yeah. Nuts. Everyone loves it. Dude, sick. Guys, make sure you get on top of this car, have a look at it, check it out. The big, the big fella down here is doing some autographs. Hey, you got to represent. <laughs> you got to get that tattoo now. Tell Dad you want a tattoo. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Don't worry, it's That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's going to get that tattoo on him later, I no doubt. <laughs> Guys are so nice out here too. I'm just cruising past, started having a yarn with a whole bunch of people. We met Big Carl, gave us this drink. Have a look at the drink. Send it. And that's what he's about to do in this thing. So Fat LX, about 40 minutes he reckons until we're about to go out, or he's about to go out. I'm saying we, like I'm part of the car now. I'm part of the team, let's go. He's had it for about 12 years, he reckons, and this thing is just an absolute monster. And one thing about the car community is everyone's got the barbecues going, everyone's having a good time, he's driving, he's cooking, he's blowing tires off the back of it. And that's the shirts there. One of the best things about coming to Sydney is the food. So much delicious food and it all sorts of cuisines. I'm gonna to go to my favorite place, my favorite chicken place down here after this. I'm not gonna ruin what it is yet, but come on for the journey with me because we're gonna enjoy it together. 
but there's going to be some big cars coming out again next. Just an absolute gale blowing, which is nice because it's going to be pushing all the smoke this way. So I'm going to try to get behind it so we can capture some sick videos. Apparently, this is a this is only a 64 car field. Normally, there's like 140 or something like that. So they were saying, I've never seen so many people like just going mad for burnout. I didn't know it was a thing. So the motorsport side, this side is absolutely even. All right, so they've just stopped for a lunch break. They've got a couple of cars in the lanes now. I think they're gonna go and do another skid. They call them in groups. I'm not sure if there's any structure to that or what they do it for, but let's have a look and see what's in the lanes and then go watch these guys go absolutely full send. A really good mix of cars. Got an old UC, some Kingswoods. Everything's blown. Well, if it's not blown, it's high comp NA, but generally everything's got a big blower on it, supercharger belt driven. Completely different to obviously the drag side of things. Wow, have a look at this. Holy, this is immaculate. Wow. Here's Carl's Fat LX. killer burnouts. Wait till you you I've seen getting around for sure. Smoker van anyway. And then you hear something cranky start up. Blown, injected. on a whole nother level. Here I was thinking I like to send it down the drag strip but wow these people do it on a whole different level. Crazy. I'm gonna go get a different view. Let's have a check it out. See what else is in the pits. Oh, 
Uh, that's never a good thing when the car's getting dragged off like that. But uh, he did go full send, so hopefully it's an easy fix for those boys. Uh, really, really nice people, as I said before. They um, come up, introduce themselves, gave some drinks, basically become part of the family and the team. So I'm a little bit disappointed for them, but hopefully it's, uh, like I said, it's an easy fix for Carl and all his team. We we'll go, might go down and check out the car later on and uh, just get a bit of an update, but we'll let them do their thing because I know what it's like sometimes when you're just getting beat up on or you break something or whatever it is in motorsport, you want to just diagnose the problem first. But this event's pretty sick. There's so many people here. I've noticed uh, it's a very different crowd to what's at the drags and uh, what's at roll racing, but nonetheless, different motorsport, different horses, different courses. And what does it mean? Just an adrenaline enthusiast? Yep. 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 Where do you get it from? Pumping. Where do you get it from? Where's your fix? Josh Hall. Yep. Located yep. Port Macquarie. Yeah. Nice man. Cool. And that's his car on the back, hey? Yep. Yep. Nice. Sick man. Cool. I'll have to check it out. And when's it going to come out next? Not sure yet. Sure. He'll have the street car out at the next PR cruise. Cool. Also. Cool. Cool. We'll organize a few more events soon. Sick. Cool, man. All right, so they're just doing a little bit of, I guess you could call it track prep at the moment. They're cleaning up all the rubber that has been caked onto that pad. It doesn't take very long. Obviously, these cars are just going straight to nine, nine and a half, some 10,000 RPM and just letting those tires get absolutely blown off the back. So got a bit of a sweeper going on with a Bobcat. Hopefully, it shouldn't take too long, but it's crazy just how quickly they can clean it up with that little wheel that they use on the front there. A lot of tough cars lining up next. This LC here, big blower on the front of it. Sounds cranky as hell. And then we've got the LS1, VK, a couple of real nice Commodores, another VK, and I think it's a VT maybe, I'm not really sure. Some of those models are very similar, VX and all that. And then there's a the Tough HG down the back here. Ooh, this purple thing, it is so cranky. I'll definitely be getting a video of that one. Holy hell. All this smoke, it must be time for a bit of a, a, bit of a, a bit of coffee. They do do some good coffee here. Let's figure out where it is. Oh, oh look. Look no further. Coffee, donuts, and shakes. Let's go. I need a coffee to break up all this smoke and methanol. <laughs> Next level down here. I just saw a kid walking around with half a tie that had been blown out, wearing it like a necklace, like a badge of honor. What an absolute mad guy. So I was just having a look. The registration's closed. I was going to go into the, the high car, see if we can send it. It'll probably do a battery before it uh, spins the tyres, but... to the racetrack which I've only ever seen it when it's like spotless and there's nothing on the track and then now you walk out here and I don't know if you guys can see just off in the distance there where all the buggies are there is so much shit 
and rubber and just stuff caked all over the racetrack. I'm gonna go up there, I'll show you guys soon. I'm just gonna enjoy my brew and sit and enjoy the view. <sighs> I'm basically a coffee connoisseur. Stay tuned, we might even start a series called Jamie's Coffee Reviews. <laughs> Absolutely love it. This is sick. The safety crew, guys taking photos, it's absolutely killer down here. Glue on the ground, I'm stuck to the ground. This place is fucking gangsta. up there to watch the top competitors of the day go at it in the finals so the format today was basically best of two skids they take the combined judges scores and then they put the top 10 i think they have top 15 lined up here for a final so do or die i guess so they're all just gonna i assume as i'm no professional here but they're just gonna hang the rods and let it let these things eat which they've been doing all day but i assume because it's a final i don't know I know in the drag racing thing, everyone wicks it up a little bit because it is a final. Are they going to do that here? Can they wick these things up more? I don't know. Can they drive a lot harder? Potentially. Let's find out. Boom. And the sun's out too. How good is that? Beautiful weather. Let's go.
down to the last car. All there is left, light them up. I'll light them up, I think the number plate is this thing. From its earlier round, absolutely skidded the doors off it. So sun is out, crowd is still strong. Apparently at these events, you get something like nine, 10,000. So I'll be coming back to the next one for sure. Brash and that, they uh, they put on a good show. And uh, I was actually quite shocked how entertaining this stuff is. So you know, gone in the days of doing it in the industrial area and just tipping in the old dailies. These things are fully built burnout cars, methanol drinking, blown, injected, all types of cool shit. All right, these guys are not shy about absolutely pushing these cars to the limit. These finals have been nothing short of just people just hanging it out. Actually, a lot of skill involved by the looks of this. These guys got to navigate their way around the pad, hit every corner, run the wall, pop tyres. It's actually, there's a lot into it to, uh, to take out the big money, but <laughs> from someone who doesn't know much about how it all goes down, apart from put your foot down and just send it, these guys are absolutely killing it. We got the last car, the last car. I think it's a item mark. Before, I'm gonna say it again. The carnage, <laughs> mechanical sympathy, burnouts here. No, 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 it just doesn't happen. Some of these guys got big dollar engines and they're risking all 10K. Apparently there's more prize money on some of these bigger shows. Not that this wasn't a big show, but apparently this was their first one. I'm not really sure on the logistics of it all, but $10,000, that guy just put it into the wall. Mad, car sound off its head, but apparently big block. Blown deal, sounds cool. But anyway, I'm off to get a feed now. I'm gonna stop at the, the local spot and uh, get myself a good feed. That is it. Guys, don't forget, like and subscribe. Help grow this freaking channel. We got a lot coming up here in the next probably three months with the episode in the channel. So we're gonna get the engine out on the Fox body and then we're gonna go pull it apart and get ready for next year racing. But until then, I'm off to get a feed. Let's go. Oh, here we are, El Jana. I don't know if there's a better place in Sydney for chicken, but if there is, let me know. This is a place that I come to every single time. Doesn't matter what suburb it is, the food is always mm, That charcoal chicken, nothing beats it. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, number six. Oh my God, it's here already. How good, come at me, look at this, let's go. The chips. Mm. That with the garlic sauce, the garlic dip, oh my god, and the Lebanese bread, so delicious, I can't wait, come on. Uh, El Jana, Black Town, your garlic sauce, absolutely amazing, I don't reckon there's a better garlic sauce out there, food is absolutely smashed, Lebanese bread, big stew, heads up mate, remember, put it in half, I'll trick that one, just learned, so, topped it off, so, that's me, another episode done, I'm going to sit here and enjoy a bit of multiculturalism, in Sydney, but well, this is it for another episode. Adios.